Hello, Leos. I'm Moon Rising Venus and the Cross Watcher. Meow, put your paws up top for me. This is the Phoenix Cloud. My name is Isa. I'm a very, very proud Leo. Thank you so much for joining me, Leo, some Moon Rising Venus and them crazy little Cross Watchers. This is your general reading for the week, so please take the parts that resonate for you and leave the stuff that doesn't. If nothing resonates in your sun sign, Leo, then definitely check your Moon Rising and your Venus. Um, and if those don't resonate, you can check out my older Leo readings. You can also uh, look down below in the description box. I do have a Leo only channel, so you guys can jump over there and check out the readings there as well. Okay. The description box also has lots of different things like where you can find me on other social media platforms. And, oh, I like that one. And um, things like my Amazon um like shopping. I have like an online store. You can get cards there. You can get lots of different like books and spiritual things, stuff that I like or I recommend. There's clothing. There's all kinds of stuff that's down there. And you can also find a link for these beautiful roses from Rose Forever New York and a $25 discount. Okay. That is like indefinite. They gave me that for sure. For sure. You can use it at any time. Okay. Last but not least, guys, if this does resonate for you, please don't forget, smack your paw on the love button for me. Give me the thumbs up. This helps other people to see me, and it's a nice way to say, hey, Isa, you rock my world. All right? All right, and please don't forget to subscribe. Come on back. Hit that notification bell on the top, okay? Well, so, 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 your energy right now is the Knight of Swords in reverse, all right. And I feel like this is you guys really sort of slowing down, um, doing your best to not rush into things and not be persuaded by anybody. So I get a lot of this energy of like, I'm going to, I'm taking my power back, so to speak. Okay. Let's call it that. I'm taking my power back. I'm not going to be pushed into things. I'm not going to be pushed around when it comes to things. Um, very much my own mind. Uh, I'm not rushing into anything. I'm taking my time, okay? So this energy over here, we have a new romantic cycle that's beginning, Moon and Libra. Some of you may have met somebody and you have very, very, I don't want to say harsh boundaries, but you basically are like setting boundaries with people, okay? Making sure that you're only in connections that make you feel as if there's reciprocity or balance here. And I like this energy for you. We have service. I feel good when I can help others. So you may be in the giving, um, like in the giving energy at this time, knowing that like doing something where you're being in service to people is what really makes you feel good when you help others. You may also discover at this time that this is like part of your quote, quote, what we call Dharma, right? This is your purpose in life is to be a giver. All right. So I love that energy for you guys. And this is also about people being in service to you. I feel at this time, you know, not just being the only one who's doing the giving, but allowing yourself to receive as well. We then have imagination, and I love this one. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So some of you really could be tapping into your creative potential at this time um, and exploring a lot of different uh, avenues when it comes to what makes you happy and what you want to do, okay? Um, and I also am getting like creating stories, things like that, starting to understand at this time, Leo, that the things that you create in your mind actually create the reality. Okay. So if you're going to create anything, make it a great story. That's how powerful your mind is at this time. All right. I feel like you guys have a huge amount of like, um, energy. And I know that with, uh, with a shift that we're having right now, I believe it's like Saturn or Pluto or the, or the both right now that, um, the signs most affected are Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and uh, Taurus. Okay. So this is like a block moving out of the way. So if you felt before, like you've been sort of stagnant, you've been unable to sort of create, move forward thing, have things sort of break open for you and flow like they naturally do. That energy is quickly coming this way for you. All right. So if you're going to create anything and shape whatever you want into reality, make sure that is good stuff. Okay. Make sure it's good. 
I feel like there's also something that you want to create. Um, you may have felt blocked in your intuition or your imagination. And I feel like this is sort of like opening up again for you. Okay. So I love this, a new romantic cycle. All right. And the energy of you making sure that you are doing things the way you want to do it. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Most of all is like the way you want to do it. Talk to me about the recent past for Leo. My Leo babies. Oh, shuck a duck. There you are. Strength card. All right. So in the past, you found yourself feeling, feeling strong, feeling brave, feeling courageous, um, being loyal to people. Okay. Who maybe haven't deserved that kind of loyalty. Um, and I feel like you're just moving into this space where you're like turning your back on people who cannot be this way with you. Okay. Let's see. What's the challenge for Leo right now, please? The cards just want to chit it chat today. Okay. Five of pentacles. Letting go, guys, the challenge, five of pentacles, letting go of lack mentality. I don't have, I don't have, I'm never going to have, the right person's never going to come, I'm, you know, I'm broke. This is all stuff that we do, we just don't even say it. You hear me? Just don't even talk about it. This is the stuff that needs to change. The challenge is shifting from a poverty, I don't have mindset. It doesn't necessarily mean money. It can for many of you. You're having a financial challenge or a financial issue right now. And I, the message that I'm getting is look at where you're spending. Okay. If you're having a financial issue, what are you spending your money on? All right, because I guarantee you, you probably didn't need Starbucks all week. Start doing the math, okay? That's the message I'm getting for you. Start doing the math here, Leo, all right? And it, when I say start doing the math, I also mean when it comes to relationships as well. If people keep leaving you or you keep having to walk out of relationships, it's time to start taking a deeper look at what's really underneath all that. We call it self-limiting beliefs. I coach a lot into it uh, in, like as a life coach. Um Take a look at what the belief is, right? Am I deserving? Why does things why do things leave me, right? Why do I always have to leave something behind? There's a there's a state of victim mentality that I always feel with the five of pentacles. It's kind of like the woe is me a little bit. I know I'm going in on you guys, but I'm doing this to be of service to you. Okay. So you could be hearing this from somebody today, all right, or this week. So this right here for me, the challenge is getting past this state of something missing. There's nothing missing from you. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing that you need to do other than shift your mind state from I don't have to I already have that. I already am that. Okay. What you don't see coming, Leo. I'm sorry, baby. You know, I do it because I loves you. I loves you. Look, look. But look, but look what you don't see coming. The queen of pentacles. Money, 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 money. Money. Say it with me. Money, 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 money. Money. All right. You can't see me, but I'm acting up. Okay. <laughs> All right. What you don't see is stability is coming. So if you've been having a hard time financially and you're trying to slow down your spending, okay, and you were doing all right in the past, you know, here I see that you're going to get more stable. Okay. And this is also you taking care of yourself. This is you creating this new principle of, of maybe not being so frivolous with your energy, with your time, with your money, stuff like that. Okay. Putting yourself first, operating out of integrity, right? Seeing the areas in your life where you sacrifice one thing to gain something else. We call this an either or thing. All right. Let's look at the near future. Oh, I got two cards for the near future. Some of y'all are dealing with a work situation. I just want to say this really quick. Okay. 10 of wands at the bottom of the deck means there's something that y'all are about to let go of. Okay. It's just become too much. I feel like some of you are moving on from a job because you're just not getting paid enough. There is something better that's coming your way. Okay. But I feel like you're, you're going to be surprised. In the near future, I have the Tower, Scorpio, Aries energy with the Ace of Pentacles. Something is going to have to 
end in order for you to have something better come into your life. All right. For some of you, it's going to be this mindset. For others of you, it's literally making up your mind and 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 giving up the idea that this is the only way that you could do something. It's the only way that you can earn money. You know, you're not going to get paid as much as as you get paid now. Um, you're going to be unable, to, you know, scared or whatever to fit some other role. This goes for romance as well. Okay, guys. So please apply it where it means something to you. All right. You showed up to the reading. You know what you were looking for today. So I pray that I'm delivering. All right. In the near future, you could be breaking up with somebody here. You could be breaking up with the ideas, breaking up with the energy and a new romantic cycle is coming in here. Okay. I want to say this. Be careful if you're imagining bad things happening. You hear me. Don't be imagining nothing bad. We're imagining good stuff. Okie dokes. Good stuff. And you get to have people that are in service to you, as I said before, Leo. All right, let's start clarifying this. I'm going to use my golden girls. All right, golden girls. Talk to me, talk to me. I'm in the mood today. I'm on caffeine. Look out. See, what had happened was I said I was going to do decaf, and then I did, and then I ran out of decaf, and then when I went to the store, they only had caffeine. So, yeah, this is the version. <laughs> This is the version of me you get, my loves. Tell me about this Knight of Swords in reverse. Clarify the Knight of Swords in reverse. Thank you, Ten of Cups. You're not rushing into anything. You're looking for your emotional satisfaction before you sacrifice whatever it is you feel like you might have to sacrifice to be in any connection. And you don't have to sacrifice anything, okay? Five of Swords here is telling me that you're being a little bit selfish with your energy, which is okay. It's, it's, it's okay. And I also feel like, you know, some of you may have been in a connection with somebody where you were beginning to feel a little bit emotionally manipulated by this person because they wanted what they wanted. They were trying to be persuasive uh, to get what they wanted out of the connection. Okay. But you're not having that. All right, Leo, let me get one more card, please. Yeah. Four, four of cups. Uh-huh. And the page of pentacles. So I feel like, <sighs> I feel like you may have, you may have been hanging on to the, some of this energy or somebody is, somebody is holding. I don't know why I get holding on to something. But I feel like, okay, so if this is a job for some of you, there's been a lot going on at this job. People being really selfish, people being really nasty to you, people holding you back, giving you very little bits and expecting a lot from you and you just feeling really unsatisfied, okay? If this is a relationship, it's the same. It's the same type of energy. Okay, let's see what happened in the recent past here. What's the strength card? <clears throat> Ace of Wands. You had some sort of new beginning, a new start here. This could be a new business for some of you or a new passionate connection with somebody. Leo energy. Yep, some of you had a brand new connection here, a brand new start. You have two aces. Okay, you were like sitting on top of the world. All right, you were like on top of the world right here. Um, things were feeling really good. And now some of you might be feeling a little bit trapped, I get like a little bit trapped looking for a way out. But the thing is, the way out is there, Leo, it's just something you're not seeing. Okay, there's something you're not seeing about the situation. Tell me what Leo isn't seeing here, please, because I just got to know. Okay, it came out in reverse. You get you you put your boundaries down. Don't get so comfortable that you lose sight of what you want, Leo. This is what's happening to some of you. Some of y'all not putting your boundaries up, okay? You're, you're too loosey-goosey with it. Knock it off. All right. <clears throat> what's the challenge with that five of pentacles? We have a financial situation. We've got 
abandoning in relationships. If you give people everything they want, trust me, babies, they are going to take it. Yeah, the challenge is moving on from this, letting it go. Some of you are in committed relationships. You know, you feel like this person is part of your destiny type of vibe. So it's tough to move on from this. Because there's elements of this that feel right, but the rest of it feels like there's stuff that's missing. Okay. So right now the challenge is just letting this go. It could be an energy. Like I said before, we have Taurus energy here. Um, we have Scorpio, we have Aries. Okay. The problem here is, is moving on from something that just doesn't feel right. The high priestess, but yeah, your intuition's screaming at you here. It's time. It's time. It's time to move on from this job. It's time to move on to a new career. It's time to move on from this energy. It's time to move on from this relationship. Pisces energy. The moon, I'm getting the moon highlighted here. So I don't know if you've been doing any kind of like manifestations or something like that. But this is this is less about calling on the energy outside of you and calling on the energy inside of you. Here, here's what's happening here. Okay. Compromising when you don't need to be. All right. All right, let's see. What you don't see coming is the Queen of Pentacles. This is money, stability. There's potentially even new positions. Okay, I like it. Look at this shit. Okay, look at that. You see what you got coming here? Okie dokie, Jamoki. We've got the Magician and the Six of Pentacles. What you don't see is that you... <laughs> are so good at what you do, Leo, whatever it is, you are either coming into a new kind of quote, quote era. I feel like Leo, you're coming into a new era of yourself, a new era of your abilities. Okay. I see that there are opportunities that are coming your way because you are so good at the things that you say, the things that you do, the things that you want. You have a very powerful ability to make anything happen. Six of pentacles, the reciprocity is coming, okay? The give and take, the thing that you deserve, it's coming to you. But I feel like this is because you put your foot down, okay? You put your foot down and you say, I don't give a shit what this is in my life. I'm putting my foot down. I'm not going to take this anymore because this, if it's upside down, has the ability to be this, okay? <clears throat> and I think what you don't see is there's a new relationship coming your way, all right? Because look, look at this. It's like Archangel Michael, like Estelle Getty's like Archangel Michael. You see how it's almost like the Gemini card, like a twin flame, like a, a connection here. I think that you're getting messages here. What you don't see coming is you're, you're going to have some sort of like message from spirit about this or some sort of growth. There's some sort of power in what you, what your, your ability is here. Okay. For some of you, this is going to be a psychic ability. There's something opening up for you here. Okay. And you're going to be able to share this and be in service to other people is what I feel like. All right. But this is about gaining reciprocity for yourself. Now, in the near future, we have the Tower, the Ace of Pentacles. There is a brand new connection, a brand new job coming in here. But some of you have to leave one behind. Two of Swords is telling me that you're afraid. You got a decision to make here in the future that makes you feel super duper uncomfortable. And you're doing the you're you're making the best decision you can for yourself. You're taking a pause. I feel like this is the pause. Yeah, justice. Okay. Libra energy here. Things are coming back into balance. You have a relationship that's coming in, even though you might feel a little bit guarded, you might feel a little bit stuck about whether or not you, if we're talking job, taking a position in the future. Okay. This is going to be something that you feel like the, I I'm owed this. Okay. I'm owed this. I'm owed this opportunity. I'm owed this relationship. Some of you may still have some doubts here, and I feel like that's what's coming up. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? This is a brand new love. It's a brand new infatuation. What else with the tower? You're going to realize, some of you, that you, and you know, we say this stuff all the time, but we don't, it doesn't get in our bones a lot. 
I feel like in the near future here, you're going to realize that you've been, you, the way you think, the way you're doing stuff has been the only reason that you, that like that's, you been holding you back. Okay. And you're having a breakthrough with this king of wands. You're going for it. Whatever this is, this is, this is understanding and taking your power back. The magician again. Okay. You're becoming this new version of yourself that's authoring in a nice romantic partnership, I feel like is coming here, but it isn't until you realize that you're the one who's been holding yourself back. Okay. Because there's still some belief that says I need to give up everything in order to have X, Y, Z, or I'm not worthy of that. Okay. And a lot of times we have issues seeing that, right? Because we have to go very, very deep to find out where that stuff is. It's not just, yeah, I know, uh, you know, I can think positive. It's, it's not that you got to go in there and rewrite the framework. You got to take the virus out of the computer and download uh, something in it to clean it up so you can rewrite the script. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to some of you. Okay. So I see you guys having a huge breakthrough in that. And I do see a relationship coming along for some of you. All right. I want to give you a self care card just cause I feel like it. And then a special message from the universe. All right. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Please don't forget, show your girl some love. These don't, these don't shuffle well sometimes. All right, sex. Hey, hey now. Okay. All right. That might help you. But what this is saying to me on a deeper level, like the intimacy, it's not just the, it's not just this, okay, the act, it's the intimacy involved with this. And also, this is talking about root chakra. This is talking about the root chakra. So stability, safety, all that stuff. And I think we've kind of covered some of that because when we have these issues of abandonment, we do have stuff around our root chakra. Flow like water, okay? Letting things just flow and come to you. Being, let yourself float. Give yourself some ease right now, okay, Leo? Let's get one more message for you. Hey, now, it might help you to have a little, you know, Feeling on your booty. All right. I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. All right. Um, you could have a really powerful connection with somebody too that way. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Wow. That's the message I got here. Okay. So guys, you know, I feel like if you're with somebody, okay, let's just recap really quick. I feel like if you're with somebody, there's the want and the need to let go of this relationship. Okay. You've been kind of milling over it. Um, you may be realizing here that you haven't had very strong boundaries, right? So somebody has been kind of taking advantage of you and stuff like that with this five of swords here. All right. And you might realize at this time you're holding on to this person. It could be because they're bringing a little bit of money in. There's some little bit of stability here, but there's something that just doesn't feel right in the self. There's something that morally or within your integrity, your character that doesn't feel right. And you know, you need to move on. Okay. Start a new chapter here. Some of you are physically moving. Okay. Or traveling. This could be with somebody that's at a long distance. Okay. Um, and what you don't see is that this is a very powerful move for you because as I said before, the energy that you have is in this time when you're starting to really realize what you can have and what you can create your own sense of value, right? That you deserve somebody giving to you. You deserve reciprocity because you've been in service to so many other people. And in the near future, it's going to maybe come up again, but I see a new opportunity with somebody coming in here as well. Okay, you just got to get past the block in your mind. And I see you figuring that out. You could be in the near future dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Scorpio here. You could be dealing with a Libra, or, um, a Leo. Uh, what else did we have? We had Taurus and we had Pisces. Okay, so those could be one of the signs that you're dealing with. All right. And don't forget, my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. 
it's also a direct reflection of how you feel about yourself All right guys so that's what i got for you thank you thank you so much guys for letting me do this for you and reading for you today if this did resonate please don't forget leave that crap behind ten of wands drop the bag of burdens all right don't forget to smash the love button for me um comment down below don't forget to subscribe and come on back see you later bye guys